Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Gertie Before you're bringing you another Minecraft Cold War vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going ahead and play an M36A1 Jeep with the M28 Davy Crockett Nuclear Recoilless Rifle. If you guys are not already, um, I did post this tutorial just recently for the actual launcher itself, um, which is basically the standard design for it. Um, but there was a version that basically mounted it onto a M36 um, or sorry, M38A1 Jeep, which is basically the kind of Cold War version of the Willys Jeep, slightly upgraded, um, but really the same thing. Um, so what this did was it basically allowed this to be uh, portable, and for those of you guys that don't know, the M28 Davy Crockett was a nuclear warhead that was put onto a recoilless rifle, so they were able to fire it um, over a distance of a couple miles, and it basically had this pretty sp small in comparison nuclear blast but it was a nuclear uh you know explosive weapon so definitely a very interesting design very unique um kind of in, kind of weird to say the very least it's just basically a nuclear mortar uh, but really cool design and um, i definitely wanted to build this since uh, there are a lot of um designs with this mounted onto a jeep and it makes a lot of sense with the fact that they would mount this onto a jeep to give it a more kind of um mobile type role instead of having this big cumbersome uh, launch platform um so go ahead and kind of take a look at this uh design it's pretty cool um again pretty similar to lily's jeep if you built my uh world war ii lily's jeep then you're probably pretty familiar with this type of design it's uh very similar to it pretty much the same thing um but yeah you can see we have the jeep here round it's got two seats here and then basically you know ammo in the back here uh could be maybe more nuclear uh warheads who knows um but basically just a little storage space back there. Um, we have the launcher itself, so it's basically modified from the standalone launcher over there and just mounts onto this vehicle like so. And all they had to do was turn the launcher a little bit, angle it the, the uh, degree of um, you know launch they want, and they would be able to fire it. So kind of a cool little design and kind of a nice little follow-up to the um, Davy Crockett. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer, we're going to go ahead and start off with layer number one. Now for layer one, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a block of coal, like so. We want to go ahead and then go over from the block of coal, two end rods, and then we're going to place down a second block of coal, like so. From that, we're going to place down a birchwood top slab, coming off this end rod going toward the front here. And then we're going to place down a zombie head over here to the right side. So left side here, we're going to place down a dark oakwood fence post, or <coughs> sorry, fence gate. And then a zombie head, and then we want to go and then place down a birchwood sign coming off this slab like so. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of four of dark oak with top slabs across, followed by a second row of four, and then a third row after that. We then want to go ahead and place down a block of coal, again to both sides here, and then a row of two of end rods across between those blocks of coal. On the back here, we're going to place down two dark oak with top slabs, come off the side of there, and a dark oak with trapdoor to both sides like so. Also, if you do want to add this little, uh, jerry can here onto the back of the vehicle as well uh, we're gonna place down one more additional dark oak wood trap door that goes back over here on the right side and once we have that all done that's pretty much it for our basic structure and we're going to now move into making the banners here i guess so going ahead and moving into our banners so for the banners here for the wheels we'll simply we're going to place down a loom we're going to go into our loom place a green banner into the loom and then take our black die we're going to go and do a border of black all the way around and we want to go and then do the center line here of black to go ahead and kind of divide the, the banner in half and that's all we need to make here for this banner we're going to go and then go to each one of these blocks of coal and on the sides here we're going to place down this banner like so on the wheels to create a nice uh kind of rim type effect there for the wheels and that right there is going to complete what we have there for layer number one with that let's move into layer number two I right, guess moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two to go ahead and get started with here, we're gonna go and place down a row of two of looms across this end rod like so, and then to both sides here, we're gonna place down a dark oak wood top slab like so. Coming off those top slabs facing toward the front, we're gonna place down an item frame, and then we're gonna place down snowballs in those item frames like so. We then wanna go ahead and take our green terracotta, we're gonna place down a row of two of green terracotta across, a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides, and a dark oak wood sign coming off the sides of those mossy cobblestone blocks. We wanna go ahead and place down a dark oak wood slab, Again to both sides, a dark oak wood sign on the sides there, and then we're going to place down a row of two of uh, cut sandstone like this going across here for the seeds. At this point here, we're going to go and place down a green terracotta block to both sides, followed by a row of two of shulker boxes that are green across the center. We're going to go and then place down a dark oak wood upside down stair on both sides here. 
and then a row of two green terracotta blocks across between those stairs. On the very back here, uh, we want to go ahead and grab our spruce wood planks, replace down a row of two spruce wood planks, a green terracotta block on both sides of the corners. Now over here on the left side, we're going to place down two mossy cobblestone walls on these two blocks, and coming off these two spruce wood planks, we're going to place down two mossy cobblestone walls as well. We then want to place down a green terracotta block on top of this dark oak wood uh, trapdoor, and then we're going to take dark oak wood signs and wrap them around the trapdoor like so. Over here to this side, we're going to place down an item frame. In that item frame, we're going to place down a red stained glass pane, and then a dark oak wood sign coming off of it like so to go ahead and create the rear brake light. And then uh, what's left for us to do over here on the um, right side here is to go ahead and place down a trip bar hook on this green terracotta block and an acacia wood button here on this green terracotta block in the corner. Also on this side, on this green terracotta block, also we're going to place down a trip bar hook like so. And with that all done, that is going to wrap up layer number two for the build. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number three. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a row of two dark liquid slabs across these two looms and across these two green terracotta blocks. We then want to place down a dark liquid fence post on top of those two mossy cobblestone walls and then a dark liquid trapdoor to both sides. We then want to place down a zombie head coming off these fence posts out to both sides like so. Once that's done, we're going to then place down a dark liquid, or sorry, a wither skeleton skull come off this slab like so. And we're going to go then place down a birchwood trapdoor on top of these two green shulker boxes and open them up like so to create the uh, back of the seats here like so. We then want to place down a dark oakwood trapdoor here to both sides. And after we have that done, we're going to place down a row of two of daylight detectors, a dark oakwood slab here. And then we're going to place down one, two, three dark oakwood slabs going from the left side over. A mossy cobblestone wall on top of this dark oakwood upside down stair here and a dark oakwood stair in this location like that. We then want to go ahead and grab our zombie heads. We're going to place down a zombie head here on top of this shulker box here. And then one coming off this slab here to the side. And after that's all complete there, uh, we're going to go ahead and also place down a zombie head coming off the side of this stair. Followed by a dark oak weed. Or no, sorry, just an item frame on the side of that block. And we're going to then place down a cobweb in that item frame like so. For like a little gear here to kind of elevate the gun. And with that out of the way, that is going to wrap up what we have for layer 3. With that, we're going to move into our final layers here, which are going to consist of layers 4, 5, 6, 7. And uh, with that, we'll uh, basically finish the build off. So with that, let's move into layers 4 through 7. All right, guys, moving into our final layers, we have layers 4 through 7. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go to these dark oak wood fence posts, and we're going to go ahead and place down a zombie head on top of them to both sides. And in the space in between those zombie heads, we're going to place down a row of end rods like that. Once we have that done, we're going to go and then grab ourselves iron bars and we're going to place down one, two, three, and four iron bars that go up like that on top of this zombie head here to go ahead and make the radio antenna. Now going over here to the uh, actual launcher, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on top of this one, followed by one back from it and one forward from it. On the back side here, we're going to go ahead and place down a green choker box like so, and then a one coming off it, save so a design looks like this here on the back, and then a zombie head on the very back of it like so. We also want to place down a dark oak wood fence gate coming off the side of this mossy cobblestone wall and a dark oak wood sign coming off the side of the fence gate. On top of the fence gate, we're going to place down a zombie head and you want the face of the zombie head facing toward the rear because that would be the sights that the gunner would basically look for for uh, aiming purposes. And then going ahead and making the warhead itself. Now for this, we're going to go ahead and go to this mossy cobblestone wall. We're going to place down a dark oak wood, a nerve brick, sorry, stair coming off of it, or wall. And then a dark oak wood sign here to both sides of the wall like so. We then want to place down a black concrete block here where this zombie head is right here. So we're going to go and delete it and place down a black concrete block. And then a wither skeleton skull come off that block facing forward. Now we want to go and then take our birchwood buttons. And we're going to go and wrap birchwood buttons around these two sides of the black concrete block as much as we can. And we want to go and then place down dark oak wood signs coming off these signs here. Like that to go and create the stabilizers for the uh, warhead itself. And once we have that all complete there, that is going to wrap up my design here for the M38A1 uh, with the M28 Davy Crockett uh, recoil nuclear recoilless gun. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this uh, design and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This being linked from a sign the build, tweet to my channel or this video if this does appear in social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use it for a project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. And with that, uh, again, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 204, and I'll see you guys next time.